Hi, what are the best B2B marketing tactics? To answer that question, I've looked at five really excellent articles and the data from over a thousand B2B marketing plans. Let me show you what I found. The essence of this is not particularly surprising, but what we don't want to prioritise might surprise you. Four things you really need to have in place. You need basic inbound sorted, then you need some accelerated inbound, you need some targeted outbound, and you need tools for your salespeople. You definitely don't need brochures. So let me unpack that a little bit and give you the 14 tactics that really make sense for you to focus on, and those that you might want to deprioritise or at least put to a very narrow purpose. So here we go, we're gonna look at five articles, then I'm gonna give you data from over a thousand plans and share with you those 14 tactics. Let's take a look now. The first article we came across is from Crystal Vermis, and it's good. Um, they're all great tactics, basically recommended by practitioners. And what I found was that in the main, the practitioner was recommending tactics that they use. Well, of course they were. So that means you get some bias. So somebody that's a PR consultant is gonna say that PR is a key tactic. What I didn't find is an awful lot of data comparing the efficacy of any of these tactics. There was a little bit on data, and in particular around the data that you use within a tactic to optimize that single tactic. So again, no data around which tactic to use, but good data or good argument for the use of data to optimise a given tactic. All up, a good article, and I'll link to it in the show notes so you can get to it. I rec do recommend reading it. Reading it. Next one um, from Smart Insights, Dave Chaffee. Um, only 51% of marketers develop a strategy that aligns to the company and its objectives. 93% of marketers use social media. Well. That doesn't say that it's a good tactic to use, it just says that they use it in some fashion. Gee, we've all got blogs and Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts and LinkedIn accounts, so we're using social media. Does that mean that it's a critical tactic? Wrong question, not asked. Um, for all that, really, really good article, really well put together. Um, I, again, I'm gonna recommend that you have a read of it, but read it in context. The fact that squillions of people are using a tactic doesn't mean it's effective. It just means that lots of people are using it. Worth understanding though. Okay, third article was from Ayaz Nanji. Uh, again, another good article. Company websites remain the top channel for B2B marketers. 81% rate it as effective. Email is second, 71% rating as effective. Now this is the difference, not who uses it, but how effective do those who are using it rate it? Website, email, then SEO, look at social down at 41%, blogs at 39%. So a couple of key points from that. Firstly, that there is definitely a shift towards content marketing. Leads can be harnessed from social, but pretty much getting names to do email with. Good article, again, I'll link to that in the show notes. Fourth one is from Marcus Taylor and Adventure Harbour. And basically, websites and forms are two primary barriers to securing leads. Or put another way, the best things to spend your energy on getting right. There's a debate evolving around whether search, emailing or social are the most effective means, but they're all valuable. Uh, candidly, I don't know there is such a debate, but there you go. Email marketing is one of the oldest successful channels enhanced by marketing automation and developed analytics. And that's the one that frankly is still working. Content marketing strategy should be creative, responsive, tailored to the company. Um, search or SEO is more of a byproduct of an effective website rather than something to do in itself. Now, frankly, one of, uh, a friend of mine uh, uh, who has an SEO business actually says the same thing. He said basically create great copy. There are some foundational things you want to do around search uh, for that great copy to shine, but his argument is not that it's about link building, but rather creating great copies. That's Jim Stewart. Um, and finally, the fifth article 
which I'll also link to. Um, we've got it in here because it was so popular. It was shared a thousand times on Facebook and nearly a thousand times on LinkedIn, uh, 500 times on Twitter. And their basic conclusions are about social and specifically what should you do to optimise your social? Well, that begs the question, is social that important for you? And that's a question that I want to turn my mind to now. As I usually do in these shows, I'm going to give you my own spin on that shortly. But first, I want to honour what those five authors are suggesting are the most important B2B marketing tactics. B2B marketers are rapidly harnessing the possibilities of a wider range of online channels for promotion. And although the older physical means of marketing content and generating leads are dropping in priority and popularity, the time-honoured platforms of web page and internet have not only outlasted the introduction of channels such as social media and search marketing, but they're also rich with opportunity to perfect and develop their effectiveness. That is, they can get better. Content marketing, SEO and pay-per-click are three primary and valid methods for optimising these channels. Content marketing in particular has useful intersections with emerging social media channels that can be used as calls to action in order to leverage traffic to these more traditional channels. More on that in a moment. Additionally, social media can also be used to generate leads, perhaps, which can then be contacted through these core channels. We need to use data before opinion, but you need a framework to understand the data or at least make sense of the data for your own business. We've drawn data from over a thousand plans and the patterns are inconsistent because what works for your business will be different from what works for another's business. So what works best for you is a little bit situational, but we use the data from those 1,000 plans to coach all of our funnel plan users on what they should be doing to their plan in their business for their market. Again, very situational. So for all of those caveats, there are some very consistent common patterns. And here are the 14 tactics that I believe from the data that you should most be investing in. We want to start with basic inbound and there are seven things you need to do. A clear website that really tells your story well from the homepage and a clear path through it. SEO optimised blogging using long tail phrases. In English, find long phrases that are not too competitive that you can optimise for in your blogs. Offer all visitors at least one digital asset as lead bait on your website. Have as many as you can afford to build, but certainly have one really good one that you optimise for. And build a trigger campaign for that digital asset. Look, it could be a crash course, it could be a white paper, it could be an ebook, it could be a video. I don't care so much what it is, but one trigger campaign for one asset is an absolute bare minimum. Nurture emails after the trigger campaign. That is, the trigger campaign is going to go rapid fire, and then after the rapid fire has or hasn't worked, you're going to put them onto a slower nurture program. Use remarketing with some kind of different offer for those who do visit the website but choose not to opt in to get that digital asset. Use social and certainly to connect with your tribe, maybe to build your tribe, but for goodness sake, optimise for email opt-ins, not likes. It's not a popularity contest. You want people to subscribe to get your digital asset and, and through that to subscribe to ongoing communication from you via email. Can't stress that enough. Once all that's nailed and not before all that's nailed, then move on to accelerated inbound lead generation. And that's really going to be paid search using highly targeted phrases. You might want to test whether paid search is the right tactic or whether promoted social is going to work better for you. It's a bang for buck thing. And whichever of those original sources use optimised landing pages in ongoing split tests so that you can constantly improve your conversion rate on the page. Then you want tailored outbound. List building via either list vendors or doing research on LinkedIn and customised outbound to the priority targets, to your best targets. Do homework, find out what the valid business reason is, and I've blogged on that lots, um, that they should meet with you. Handle your outbound really carefully, and then channel readiness. Now, 
frankly, you probably should do the channel readiness first. Um, but frequently, we get asked to focus on the marketing stuff first. But marketers, please remember that you've got sales counterparts out there who need to be effective. So they need great tools and training to use in their meetings. Now, that is not a brochure. That's a tool to use in a meeting to help the customer to connect with the problem and agree the shape of need that you can best meet. And then templated follow-up emails and templated proposals to lock in whatever it is that's been concluded and to help the sales guys keep on script. Well, I mentioned that our funnel plan users get weekly coaching emails drawn from the data inside the plans. And they do, but when they log into the application, they then get highly personalised coaching. That is, for your plan for companies selling in a similar context to you, geography, size of company, growth rate, uh, size of deal, similar enough companies, they are doing these things that you're not, please consider. Highly, highly personalised. It's like having a million dollar consulting partner on the books for 29 bucks a month. Now, if you don't have a funnel plan right now, Go get a free one and start with that. Go to funnelplan.com, get yourself a free funnel plan and start the process of shaping your thinking around what your strategy, your measures and your tactics need to be. I've got loads more lined up for next week. Until then, may your funnel be full and always flowing. Our thanks this week to Dan Chatter for his research. Good job, Dan. Uh, contributors, five excellent articles. Crystal Vermes, Dave Chaffee, Ayaz Nanji, Marcus Taylor and Sarah Quinn. Thank you guys, all excellent articles. Hannah Sivalingam for your amazing production week in, week out. My name's Hugh McFarlane and it's been my absolute pleasure to script and present this week's show.